So this is what Windows 11 looks like for most people, but this is what it can actually look like in 2026. In this video, I'm showing you everything you need to transform your setup. And if you want more insane customizations like this, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out. So without any further ado, let's get started with step one. This is what you can expect after watching this video until the end. Now, this pretty cool widgets where you can see the weather, you can see your notes, Notes. You can also see your calendar. Then we have here at the bottom left corner system monitoring widget. And from this widget, you can also shut down your computer. And then down below here, we have this taskbar, which actually looks like a dock. And then also here, this really cool transparent start menu. Now, after watching this video until the end, I will also show you how you guys can get this amazing cursor completely for free. And now let's continue here how to customize this taskbar first. The first thing which you want to do to actually actually customize the Windows 11 taskbar is to go here to this website. It's called windhawk.net. And I will also put a link for it in the video description down below. So you guys can easily follow this tutorial. Now on this website, you want to click here on the download button and you guys should get this Windhawk setup file. Just click on it and install it like you would any other Windows program. I already have it installed on my system. And after the installation, you should also open it. So just go here to the start menu and search for the Windhawk and click here on the Windhawk app. Once you have it open, this is what you should see. Now here are a few of the modifications which I highly recommend that you guys actually install. Now, the first one is called Windows 11 Taskbar Styler. Now, in case if you don't see it here on the first page, you guys can always go here to the Explore button here on top right, click on this input field and search for the Windows 11 Taskbar Styler. Now, this is very important. And then here, click on the details and click on Install here. I already have it installed on my system. And then once you also do have it installed on your system, go here to the Settings and down below under the theme, you will pretty much see a ton of the themes. For example, you can make your taskbar completely transparent. So you can clearly see how it's going to look like right here. So this is the transparent theme. However, the one which I quite like is here down below. It's called doc like. You can click on it and then here, make sure that you click on save settings. And now your taskbar should look like macOS doc. Now you can see here that it has this curved edges at the bottom and it looks pretty nice overall. Now, to customize this even further, we can also install this customization. It's called Windows 11 Start Menu Styler. Just search for it here on the Explore page. Now, to get the most out of this customization, go here to the Settings, and under the theme here, you want to select this one down below. It's called Translucent Start Menu, and then here, click on Save Settings. And now, if you open here the Start Menu, this is what it's going to look like. However, here, you can pretty much see that it has ton more of the styles. For example, we can go with down arrow. This one looks pretty cool as well. So if I open it here for you, this is what you can actually expect. We are pretty much done here with the start menu and also the taskbar, but we can also here install modification for our notification center. So Remember, this is how the notification center looks like here by default on Windows 11. But here you can also install this one, which is called Windows 11 Notification Center Styler. Go to the details and make sure that you click on install here. And then under the settings, you can pick whichever theme you prefer. For example, you can go with translucent shell and this is how the notification center here looks like. However, you can also pick, for example, Windows Glass. This one looks pretty cool as well. So this is a bit different style and it looks very, very cool as well. We are pretty much done here with the Windhawk. We successfully here modified the notification center, start menu as well as the taskbar as well. And in my opinion, it does look much better than before. Now let's go here to this website. It's called unsplash.com where I found this really cool image as our wallpaper for this video. Now you want to download it by clicking here on this drop down menu and then here select original size. And that way you will get this image completely for free in the highest resolution possible. Now here you want to click this to show in folder and here you want to select the image and double left click on it to open the photos app. Now here on the top, you will find these three dots, click on them and then here click on 
set as and make sure that you select here background. And now if you want to make the same wallpaper as your lock screen as well, just click here on the three dots, click on set as and then select here lock screen. And now if I go here to the start menu, click on the bottom and lock my computer, we can see here this same wallpaper as well on our lock screen. Now let's continue here with the widgets. So to install your widgets on your computer, first we will need a program which actually allows us to get the widgets on our desktop. So the program is actually called RainMeter and you want to go here to this website. It's called rainmeter.net. And here you want to click on the download button to install this program on your computer. Click on this exe file and install it like you would any other widget. Windows program. And now with that, pretty much you will have to also get some of the skins from the internet. And the first one, which I highly recommend is this one called Mond Raymeter theme. And it has this really cool design. So on this website, click on download and you guys should get this file called mond.rm skin. And now here you can go to the file explorer and click here on the mond. You can just double left click on it. And here you want to click on install. Now here you should see a brief preview of the widgets. Now here you can click on close settings. Now here what I will do, I will right click on this widget and click on unload skin. I will also select here this recycle bin widget and click on unload skin as well. And then here you can also see this little dot. You can right click on it and click on unload. And then we are pretty much left with this one right here. I'm gonna put this one here on top. And now here is where you will have to also customize it. Now to customize it, right click on it and then here select edit skin. And down below, make sure that you scroll down here until you find this option called meter date. Make sure that you select it like I did right now and make sure that you delete it. And now here, make sure that you leave this one. This is very important that you leave this one right here inside of this uh, code. Delete meter 12 hour clock and also meter 24 hour clock. So just like this, and you can also move this one here on top. And then on top here, you can also change the scale. And if you change this, it will make this widget a bit bigger. Now I'm gonna go, I think with uh, 1.75, so just like this. And now to save everything, click here on the file and click on save. Now to get the changes here on this widget, you can right click on it and here select refresh skin. And now we can place it somewhere here on the middle of the screen. Now let's continue here with the next widget pack. And this one is called Monterey Rain Meter. This one will add this macOS inspired widgets on our desktop. And in my opinion, it looks very, very cool. So here you can go to the releases and down below click on this file and click on the file right here and it should here open the Monterey rain meter installer click on install and then once you see here this screen you want to apply calendar monitoring weather as well as the notes so pretty much this are all of the widgets I want on my desktop and now to place them you can just simply drag them somewhere here I will place this one right here and this monitoring widgets somewhere here at the bottom left corner. And now this one, which is calendar somewhere here. Now, if you want to change the size of the widgets, you can just right click on them and select here, for example, wide. And now here I'm going to place this one to this place. To change the weather location, you can just right click on it and click here on edit weather. Here I'm going to type in London and click on enter to update the weather and click on save. And now we are pretty much done here with the weather widget. And then here for the monitoring widget, you can also right click on it and select here wide so you can see here the percentage and now we will also have to install another widget so this one which is called mii power and you can see here a brief preview of it and here you want to click on download button to get this widget as well so you can then open it by clicking on this file and then here click on install and once you have this widget installed you want to go here to the bottom system tray click on the rain meter and then here go to the mii power select the power and select here the w version and here I'm going to place it next to this monitoring widget. And in my opinion, the setup looks already pretty clean. Now to install this crazy cool cursor on your Windows 11, you want to go here to this website. Now it's called jepricreations.com. And if you scroll here down below, 
you will get to this category free collection. And here you want to click on cursor concept and down below click on download for free. Now here you should get this zip file. You can click here to open in folder. And once you have it here, you can click on extract all, click on extract. And here inside the extracted folder, click on the cursor here. I'm going to select the light version. And here you want to click on install button, right click on it and click here on install and click on open and it should install on your computer. Computer. Now, once you have it installed, you can go here and search for the cursor and make sure that you select this option called change the mouse pointer display or speed. And then here you can go to the pointers and change here to the brand new cursor. I have it named here new, and then you can click on okay and apply. And this is how your brand new cursor should look like. Now, this is pretty much this crazy setup for 2026. In my opinion, it does look much better than the Windows 11 default look. And I will also put every single tool I mentioned in the video description down below. So you guys can easily follow this tutorial. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you all around in the next video.